Sometimes you go up against that one DPS that just farms you again and again. That DPS could be a Bastion that you just simply can't contest, or a Doomfist that kills you again and again as a support. All that being said, in this video, I'm going to be going over two hero counters for every single DPS and give you special insight and tips on each one to give you everything you need in order to shut down these hard carry DPS again and again. Speaking of shutdown, GameLeap.com is everything you need in order to shut down DPS, tanks, and supports that are dominating you every single game you play. Now before we get started, keep in mind that this list is in alphabetical order, so if there's any DPS that you just simply need to know exactly what counters them, you can find it a lot easier. Anyways, let's kick it off with the first character that we're going to talk about, Ash. And the two characters that I think are very good counters to Ash is a D.Va and a Widowmaker. Now, firstly, D.Va is very good at eating Ash's Dynamite, which is now on a 12 second cooldown. So being able to save a fraction of an ability and shut down Dynamite is very, very powerful. On top of that, if Ash does not have a pocket, it is very easy to get out Coach Gun just by diving the Ash. And that is pretty much all you need to do to get her away or allow one of your DPS to punish the Ash afterwards. Now, something that you should really keep in mind is that specifically if Ash's Bob knocks up anyone on your team, you need to save some DM and DM them so that they don't get headshotted because that's what Ash is going to try to do after the Bob throws them up in the air. She's going to try to line up a headshot, so keep that in mind. Now, the next character is Widowmaker, which, plain and simply, Widowmaker could outrange Ash, and if Ash doesn't have a pocket from a certain range, Ash can't kill Widow with one shot, but Widow can kill Ash. A high-skill Widow will beat the same skill Ash almost every single time. Oh, come on! Now, the next character is your favorite character, Bastion. And the two characters I would suggest to shut down a Bastion are Ana and Mei. Now, first off, Ana is very good against Bastion. The thing that a lot of people get wrong is they try to outheal a Bastion spam, which is just not gonna work. You cannot outheal a Bastion spam. Sure, you can set up things like Immortality Field, but the best thing is actually setting up a flank play in order to shut him down. Ana has not one, but two abilities that can easily shut down a Bastion with both her Sleep Dart and her Nade. All she has to do is set up on a flank on the high ground, not get notified, and the second the cart comes around the corner, she sets up a Nade play or a Sleep Dart play on the Bastion, or even both. On top of that, there are a lot of characters like Reaper, Roadhog, Ryan. There's so many characters that a Nano can enable them to get right on top of the Bastion and shut him down. Now, next up is Mei, which, plain and simply, just raise up the Bastion. You raise up the Bastion, every single one of your characters on your team can easily focus him down. You raise him up and you can hit him with your Icicle, your Ana can sleep dart him, your Hanzo can burst him down. Mei is such a great counter to Bastion. And then on top of it, her ultimate is great because everyone's going to be playing on the cart. And if you freeze the cart, they are forced off of it. And then you just lever let them set up again. Now moving on to the next character on the list, it's Doomfist. And the number one character to shut down a Doomfist is of course Zen. <laughs> Just kidding, not Zen. The two characters that I have for you is actually Reaper and Arissa, surprisingly. So Reaper, first off, I love personally playing Reaper against the Doom because Doom can't do anything to you. If you have your Wraith, you can just fade his punch. If he uppercuts you, just shoot him in the face. The only thing he can actually one-top you with is his punch. You have a fade for that. You just bait it out. If he runs away, you can chase him down. Reaper is so good at shutting down a Doomfist. He is one of the best counters to Doomfist, in my opinion. Not McCree not Roadhog, not Brig, Reaper is insane at shutting down a Doomfist and punishing him again and again. Now, next up might be an interesting one, but it's Orisa, and I cannot tell you how many times I've died as Doomfist against an Orisa that is good with her Fortify and her Pull. You can't engage an Orisa very easily because of her Fortify, and the cycles of Doomfist going in and going out, every time you do that, by the time you go back in, the Orisa's gonna have her Fortify again, which means she's not really a very easy target for an Arista that doesn't waste her fortify. On top of that, if you dive any support near an Arista and she pulls downwards, it can completely mess up your disengage, which means you're just gonna get focused down and die. All that being combined makes Arissa actually a pretty decent threat to Doomfist, and a good Arissa is a nightmare for Doomfist to engage anywhere nearby. Now, the next character that we have to talk about is Echo. Now, the two characters I would have to suggest to counter Echo is Soldier and Roadhog. Now, you might be asking, why don't I include things like Widow, McCree, and other things like that? Well, the problem with those characters is that if they don't have a pocket, they can actually get snuck up on and burst it down incredibly fast by Echo. Soldier has the mobility to get out, and he has the heal to keep him alive, 
Plus, he's very good at just bursting down an Echo. Without a pocket, Soldier is undoubtedly the best hit scan in my mind. But if you do have a pocket, I think Ash is probably the best one. But McCree and, of course, Widow on very long range maps are all good. But I do think that throughout everything without a pocket, Soldier is most likely the best. And then the next one is Roadhog, which you might be a little bit surprised by. But Roadhog is one of the few characters that can actually stand toe to toe with Echo and not care about her beam, which is her strongest ability. He can easily punish an echo if he's off angling because of the fact she can't fly very high like a fara she always has to come back down eventually and if you're off angling on a roadhog hitting a hook on an echo is really comical and a lot of times she'll get within range of your convergence alternate fire and then last up we can't not talk about whole hog which is one of the best ways to shut down echo's ultimate echo will often copy things like Arissa, maybe even a roadhog maybe someone like a rhine all these characters can get completely zoned away by a whole hog which is very important you zone away that Echo or you kill her right away, you shut down her ultimate, and that is a very good trade. And the next character we have to talk about is Genji. The two characters I have for you is Sombra and Brick. Sombra plain and simple because she can hack a Genji when he's trying to nano blade. She can hack Megas, take away a lot of his lethality, and just her ability to EMP and shut down any plays that Genji can make. That's all great. With a mobility hero like Genji, Sombra is a nightmare to deal with. The next character up is Brig. Brig is just a very annoying character to deal with because she can stun the Genji. She can hit him away with her whip. Her ultimate makes it even hard to kill with a nano blade. And all in all, Brig is just a very annoying character. And she's actually one of the biggest reasons why Genji was not meta for the longest time until he got this recent buff. Now, the next character that we have to talk about is Hanzo. The two characters I would suggest to counter Hanzo is Genji and Monkey. Now, with the new Reflect Cancel and the Lethality on Genji, if you get close to a Hanzo without him doing any damage to you, you can just kill him so easily. There's almost nothing he can do to stop you. You can Reflect, protect yourself, and basically burst him at any time. Hanzo has a terrible matchup against Genji. And then Monkey is another character, but this could really be any diver. Hanzo has a hard time being dove altogether unless he has a pocket. He's actually a character that really needs to space from the enemy and the fact of the matter is a monkey can jump on top of a hanzo and a monkey can use his bubble and chase the hanzo if the hanzo doesn't get actual healing peel he's just gonna die now picking up the pace a little bit the next character we have to talk about is junkrat now Farah can definitely just spam on junkrat from far away which is why it's a great pick it's pretty simple to say the least junkrat can't do anything to a Farah unless you're a god with your actual concussion minds and then the next character is diva and diva in particular is really good because when you're engaging onto the enemy that's when a Junkrat's most lethal, right? When you're diving on them or when you're engaging on them with the Rhine, Junkrat can put out all this damage and then he can put out both of his minds. Well, in that window of time, if you save your DM, that's the best way to shut down a Junkrat. And then on top of that, we have to talk about the fact that you can punish a Junkrat if he's ulting or eat a potential Riptire by actually flying towards the Riptire. Trading Riptire for Diva Mech is a lot better than a Riptire killing multiple members of your team. Now, the next DPS we have to talk about is McCree. The two characters I have for McCree is Widow and Sigma. Widow plain and simply because Widow can outrange a McCree. You want to be positioning yourself fairly far away to where McCree has to hit many shots in order to kill you and all you have to do is hit one shot. Flanking a McCree is actually really powerful because when a McCree is flanking or juking left and right to you that's going to look like a straight line if you're at the side of the McCree so that's something to keep in mind. And then the next character is Sigma of course. Sigma is a character that is a very annoying for a McCree to deal with. Unlike a Reinhardt where you can actually flash above or below. Sigma has his kinetic grasp, which can stop a lot of your damage. He has a shield which can zone you out. He can hit you with a rock really simply. He can one tap you if he hits you with a rock and hits you with his hyperspheres. Sigma is definitely a character that can shut down a lot of your value. He can shut down your high noon. He can get a lot of shields from it. There's a lot that Sigma can do against you as McCree. Now we're going to the next DPS is May, and the two counters I would suggest for you is actually Far and Hanzo. The Far is pretty simple, just like with the junk, right? You can outrange the May, you can kill the May from a longer distance and she can't do anything about it but the more interesting one and the more practical one is actually Hanzo you see Mei will set up to throw up a wall right especially if you're playing something like trying to push Hanamore attack and there's a Mei just waiting there to kill your supports well you can one flush out that Mei with your sonic arrow so that you know where she is and two you can jump the wall and bait out ice block or just simply headshot the Mei Hanzo is a very good Mei counter
counter. You outrange the May. You can one shot the May. You can get information on the May. It's a really strong character to make sure the May doesn't get wall value and she doesn't catch your team by surprise. Now the next character is Farah, and it's gonna be pretty obvious. The first one is Widowmaker, and the second one is Echo. So Widowmaker is really powerful because if you're playing really long sightlines, the far just can't peek you at all. Now keep in mind that there are gonna be some windows of time that the shot's gonna be hard, especially up against the far that plays really close to natural cover. There are gonna be some difficult shots, and the far is gonna try to hard dive you. But if you're a decent widow, you're gonna be able to shut down the far, and honestly, the far has to be quite a bit better than you if you're playing widow in order to actually outplay you. Now, Echo's actually really good at dealing with Farah. Echo could definitely spam the Farah, but the easiest thing about Echo is that you can chase the Farah around the sky, and it's really easy to hit your beam. So if the Farah gets close to that 50% HP, you can just beam her out of the sky, kill her super, super easily, and that's one of the best ways to deal with a Farah as a DPS, especially if you cannot play hit scan, play an Echo, shut her down. Now the next character we have to talk about is Reaper. Now the two characters I would suggest to shut down a Reaper is Hanzo and Brig. Hanzo is good against the Reaper for a similar way that he's good against the Mei. Reapers love to hide in corners. They love to hide in your spawn. They love to hide on the high ground perch and just flank your DPS or your supports. So as Hanzo, you can flush out Reapers with your Sonic Arrow and you have the means to one shot a Reaper. So all those things combined means that Hanzo is pretty good at dealing with the Reaper. Now, Brig is good for a number of reasons. Brig can stun a Reaper's Death Blossom. She can zone him away, get him away from her tanks, get him away from her DPS. Brig is just very good at spacing away Reaper, and Reaper has to come into the effective range of Brig, which is really troublesome. And then if Brig rallies, Reaper just does a lot less damage than normal because each little bullet gets affected by armor. Now the next character we have to talk about is Soldier. The two characters that I would suggest shutting down a Soldier is either Doomfist or Roadhog. First off, Doomfist is pretty good against Soldier. I mean, Doomfist just farms him, honestly. You could easily seismic slam, uppercut him out of his heel. You could punch him into the wall. You can make some really aggressive rollouts onto a soldier and still kill him. And the fact that you uppercut him out of his heel means that it's really easy to finish off a soldier and he doesn't have any way to stop you with no CC or burst or anything like that. Now specifically, Roadhog is good at shutting down a soldier because he can basically just push up on a soldier really aggressively. You're really not afraid of a soldier, so in a straight up 1v1, if you have a soldier that's constantly on your flank trying to kill supports or a soldier that's always flanking, right? That's the carry soldier, the soldier that just perma flanks, Roadhog can shut down that strategy, and he's a very good character to counter the flanking soldier, that's why I suggest him. Now the next character on our list is Sombra, and the two characters that are really good at shutting down a Sombra is a Soldier and a Diva. Now Soldier is very good at stopping a Sombra because one, he can cancel all the hacks. Two, even if he gets hacked, it's not that big of a deal. He could still win a 1v1 against a Sombra, and the fact that he plays high ground, he gets a vantage point over the fight, means that he can not only dodge a Sombra's EMP, but cancel all of her hacks on her allies, which is all very good. I think Soldier is one of the best characters to play if you're playing something like a Doom for Sir Genji, and you keep getting shut down by Sombra, swap to soldier now diva is an interesting one because i think diva is very good against sombra but a bad diva can be awful against sombra you should be spy checking like 24 7 when you're playing diva you have infinite ammo just spy check around you spy check the high ground spy check everywhere force that sombra to translocate and if you are getting hacked or if one of your allies are getting hacked it's your job to cancel it and if you don't cancel it you're gonna be this giant ultimate battery for the sombra so while i do think that diva is very good against shutting down Sombras, you have to be playing at a certain level in order to extract that value and extract that counter. Now, the next character is Sim. I do think that two characters are really good against Sim. Pretty obvious ones, but Farah, for the same reasons that she's good against Junkrat and Mei, but more reliably, most likely, is Monkey. Monkey is good at clearing out her turrets. Monkey is good at diving her. The big thing that I would highly suggest, though, is be careful about throwing down your bubble when you're not actually hard committing to the Sim. You don't want the sim to be able to farm off all this charge off your bubble so definitely keep that in mind but i do think that being able to actually engage onto a sim is great for starting off a dive especially because if you have a character like genji for example he doesn't want to engage first because he's going to eat all the turrets and just feed and die so it's your job to start that engage and you're going to be really good at shutting down a sim and if you have your ultimate you could just beat her into a wall and just kill her that way now the next character we have for you is torb and the two characters i would suggest to 
shut down a Torb is Hanzo and Sigma. Hanzo because you can spam out the Torb turret. You can easily do a Torb with this giant hitbox. Even if you don't hit the head, hitting him with Storm Arrow is fairly easy. Hanzo in a lot of ways is just a better Torb and he's very good at shutting down Torb. Now Sigma is good for a lot of reasons. He can easily spam down a Torb turret. Torb is big, so it's really easy to hit an accretion on him. But most importantly is if you have a Ryan or something like that pushing the front line, you can use your shield to isolate the turret and then focus it down yourself really easily that allows you to push onto point and not get constantly barraged in the back by this turret that's really annoying and you can take the mission yourself to shut down the turret and not have to rely on one of your dps to do it now the next character that we have for you is tracer now the two characters i'd have to suggest for tracer is mccree and brig mccree is a pretty obvious one but the thing is you need to realize that this matchup is a lot closer than you think specifically mccree is good at playing with the team and keeping a tracer off you i wouldn't necessarily say mccree is good at taking isolated duels with a tracer on the other side of the map you could do enough to force her to get away from your team but it's not going to be guaranteed that you're going to be able to win the matchup against her every time especially if the tracer gets a jump on you if she can do anywhere from 50 to 100 damage to you without using her recall or without you being able to force a recall then it's going to be really easy for her to follow up on you and finish you off so definitely keep that in mind the mccree style that i'm talking about is the one that plays very peely with your team and protects your tanks and supports now brig of course everyone knows how good brig is against tracer her inspire and passive healing are nightmares for tracer to deal with so of course you're getting shut down by our smurf tracer just play brig and she's gonna have a lot worse time now the last but certainly not least dps on the list is widowmaker and the two characters that i'd suggest to shut down a widowmaker is hanzo and wrecking ball i don't know how many of you play widow but trying to hedge out a hanzo is like one of the hardest things ever i can hedge out a far i can hedge out a reaper i can even hedge out a tracer that is blinking on top of me but i'll be damned if i can hit a headshot on a damn hanzo hanzo is very difficult to headshot for a number of reasons small headshot hitbox the fact he can move there's just so many different factors but a big underrated factor about this matchup is the fact that Hanzo is threatening. He's lethal. He puts pressure on you and the fact that he can get perfect information about where you are means that Hanzo can be very difficult for a Widow to kill and a Widow to duel and a Hanzo can easily flank that mid range and shut down a Widow fairly simply. Now the next character of course is Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball is a character that you can't kill as Widow. You can't headshot him as Widow. A Wrecking Ball can completely tunnel vision you as Widow and you just don't get to play the game. So Wrecking Ball is a very 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 hard counter on widow and if you're having a hard time dealing with widow as a tank and your dps simply can't shut her down just play wrecking ball and ruin her day anyways keep in mind that these are just some of the ones that i personally think are pretty powerful counters they're not a list of all the counters and you personally might find other characters to be better counters in your circumstance with your skill set so if you have any special counters for any of these dps definitely let me know in the comments down below and also make sure that you go check out gameleap.com if you want to either counter any of these heroes or master any of them we have in-depth advanced guides by tons of high level players so do yourself a favor and go check it out but I think that's all we got for you today. I'm Coach Reels, and until next time, 